If I had more than one kid, I wouldn't be able to afford child care. A lot of parents have concerns over the cost of child care. And nationally, presidential candidates are trying to find solutions. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Donald Trump is proposing tax deductions for family child care expenses, and he wants rebates for lower income households. Meanwhile, Hillary Clinton is pushing for universal preschool for every four year old in America. In addition, Clinton wants to give a raise to child care workers while ensuring that no family pays more than 10% of its income to child care. Valley News Team's Nicole Johnson spoke with area parents to see what they think is the best solution to the child care problem. Very expensive. <laughs> I think it's as much as a lot of people's mortgages. Caitlin Hoff pays more than $1,500 a month on child care. I don't know that there's anything that you can do. It's just part of having kids. People say diapers are expensive, but child care is by far the most <laughs> expensive part of having children. For people that don't have the very high paying jobs, entry level, you know, and there's people out there like that that have kids, it's got to be really tough for them. Really tough. Research shows child care is one of the largest expenses for many families across the nation, and some can barely afford it. Do you think that there's a solution? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know what the solution is, as because I work on both sides. Jessica Mortensen is a provider and also pays for her daughter's child care. There's shortage, and then people pay outrageous because people are charging outrageous because there is no daycare. A tax break for parents sounds like a good idea to the people we talked to, saying it might help a little, but there are more problems out there. I don't think they're getting paid enough as providers. Mm -hmm. I mean, they do the best they can, and they're all great. I wouldn't say they're all great, but they try to do their best, and personally, I don't think they get paid enough for what they do. They care for our kids. For parents like Hoff, it may seem like a big bill to pay, but she wants good care for her kids, regardless of the price. But really, they're with your child almost as much, if not more, than you are, so I'm you have to pay it. <laughs> In Fargo, Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live. Now, we want to hear from you about what you think about the price of child care and what do you think the solutions are. Log on to Valley News Live's Facebook page and join in on the conversation.